this when i look at this modification index i am seeing e6 to e7 the drop is by 36 then e4 to e5 drop is by 27 so my again the practice i would recommend is you should add only one change at a time only one change at a time so here i have added this path so i will close this and i will run this model again so i am going to run this again i have added the covariance between e6 to e7 and i will look at what happened to my data so you see though the software was telling you that the drop would be 36 but what has happened that it has dropped from 118 to 60 right so it is actually this just one error term has given you a much bigger jump much bigger drop right so it has gone down by about 58 Right? So you should always make one change at a time. Estimates, they are all fine. Model fit, now you see chi-square has become 60.98. Okay, the degrees of freedom is 31. Chi-square by DF, it has gone down by, gone below 3. Then our GFI has improved further, CFI has improved further, RMSEA has gone down by below 0 0.05. So we can stop here also, but we can also see the p-value is still less than 0 0.05. We said that we, even with this p-value, we will be rejecting our H0. So again, this is something that we would want to check. So what do we say? We go back to modification index and say, what is it that I can do now? Is there anything that I can do to improve the fit of my model? And so the software tells me that, well, E9 and task orientation, that means covary E9 with task, well, that does not make sense. It is absurd. E9 and E10, you will get a drop of 6.9. E8 to LEX, so E8 with this latent factor, again, it is absurd. It doesn't make any sense. E8 to task orientation, again, it does not make any sense. E8 to E10, you will get a drop of 5.9. And E1 to E8, you will get a drop of 6.1. So E1 and E8, they belong to different dimensions. So anyways, it does not make any sense. E8 to E10, I am getting a drop of 5.9, but E9 to E10 is what is giving me the long, biggest drop. So what do I do? I try one more attempt and I co-vary E9, E9 and E10. Right? This is what I do now okay and i run this so i will just beautify this and make it clean okay and now i have added one more term and i run this now let us look at r so you look at this it has dropped from 60 to 34 even though the software was telling us that the drop you would achieve is only 6 6.9 but the drop is actually much bigger so you should do as a design practice add only one path at a time okay don't add multiple paths and now our chi square is 34 degrees of freedom has it was initially 32 but now we have added two more covariances so it has degree of freedom has gone down by two parameters have increased by two Initially, it was 23, but we have added two more parameters. So the parameters to be estimated is 25. Now, degrees of freedom is 30. So, and our p-value, look at the p-value. P-value has gone above 0 0.05 now. And this is what we were looking for. So we fail to reject our H0, which says that chi-square is zero so we now we fail to reject the uh, hypothesis 
And if you look at the estimates, this is all fine. The loadings are good. Okay. And then the model fit. Model fit, it is chi square by df is less than three. If your if this is if your chi square test passes, then you can just close your eyes and all other fit indices will also pass. GFI is 0.99, CFI is 0.999, RMSEA has gone down to e gone down even further. It has become 0 0.02. Right? So you have achieved a very good fit here with this. Uh, just two changes in the model, right? So your this is your final CFA model for leadership.